Hey guys, it's Ashley. And Stefan. And Annika. She's joining us today. Hi, baby. Um, here for the Pretty Goods Podcast, episode number three. So today we wanted to go um, into more detail than what we did in our intro um, intro episode. episode. In our intro episode. Thank you, Annika. That was wonderful. Um, we just want to go into more detail about why we chose fair trade and why it's important. Um, kind of the things that we have seen along our research and journey to fair trade, and the thing, whoopsies, the things that we have seen that to me make it important for us to make this choice. Yeah. So the first part to me is the main concept of you vote with your dollars, and so if you continue to buy from the big companies that uh, have been found to abuse and misuse situations or they plead ignorance because mm-hmm. they they contracted this company and that company is subcontracted. Or, sorry, I can I interrupt you? Yeah. <laughs> or one thing we found a lot too is they're like, well, that's allowed in that country, so it's okay, you know? Like, if that country's Ooh. allowing it, we can't do anything about that. And to me, like, that's ridiculous. Like, yeah. that you're just gonna hide behind the fact that other countries don't have the same labor laws or labor rights that we do here in this country, right. so to me that's a little ridiculous. And it's to their advantage because they can make a bigger profit. So when we took the idea of vote the dollar, uh, we came across the idea of, the, we came to this battle where like, how do we make a difference? And so one of the main ways we make a difference <laughs> is by supporting companies that support that. And supporting companies that try to make a difference in their community. So a few companies that we come across, we just know real quick, are like, Ale Berte. Something like that, yeah. So, so they do really cute shoes. Yeah, and, and they're in Africa. And they, yeah. You know what? One of the bragging things on their website was that they recently just opened up their own factory. Mm-hmm. So before they were subcontracting people to make shoes, but now they've gotten enough to make enough big enough profit that they can make uh, an investment in people's lives and provide them with a living in a fair trade factory. And then they really know that the products that are being made are fair trade because they're running the whole like yep. line of it. And then there's other companies like Crochet Kids that they do, um, they provide artists with jobs and some university, like they're teaching them or something like that. Yeah, I think they're just really um, involved in the whole community. Like they're not just about the people and making a profit. They truly believe that they can impact the community by running a better business. Yeah, so why fair trade? Well, it's one way for us who, uh, I don't have the money to start a factory to make an impact around the world is by supporting these businesses that have yeah. a great heart for other people. Yeah, and I think <laughs> once you look into fair trade and look at what it means and what it's supporting, um, it's, it is easy to be like, well, it's easier to shop at Walmart. It's easier to shop at these big grocery stores. It's cheaper, it's more convenient. Um, I have found that with fair trade, you really have to plan ahead with a lot of things. Mm-hmm. like. Um, We were kind of already in the middle of our Christmas shopping when we made this initial change. Um, And we didn't feel that we necessarily need to return all of our Christmas gifts. But then I was like, okay, well, what could I either make or purchase fair trade on my own? And it really wasn't realistic to get it done in the time needed. Like, you know, or like, oh, I quick need this for a project or I quick need this for something like I'm a part of a mom's group so sometimes we need craft items or things like that and sometimes I don't think far enough ahead so then I am stuck just running to Walmart to get stuff um, and so I think it is important you definitely have to plan ahead um, but what we, real- we realized is at the under- other end of the manufacturing line there's people there um, and they're important and we want to make purchases that tell them that they're worth it and that they're important and so yes, it's more expensive, and yes, it's going to cost more. Um, but to us, that's worth it because it's giving them value and dignity, and yeah. And they have families. Yeah. With kids. With kids, and th- those kids aren't getting taken care of either. And it's just there's a lot out there as you look into it and stuff. And we we truly feel that this is important, um, and that it's not just like a fad or something we're doing now, but it is. It's our way of life. Like it's going to be our way of life. And it has to be because to go back would be to say, yeah, I know that this is all going on, but I don't care, or right. I care about what's easy, or I care about what's convenient. Um, and so I don't think we want that anymore. So that's that's essentially it. And as we come up with more specific articles and things about why fair trade is important, you will see those on these 
um, episodes as well. Yep. And we will talk to you guys all next time. Can you say bye? Hi. Do you want to say bye? No. All right. She just woke up from a nap, so we'll catch um, you guys later. find us all over at Perpity Goods, um, all over social media. Perpitygoods.com is our website. Go check it out, and we will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.